For Crema Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with DBSA Disruption Specialist Johan Liber and Infrastructure Finance Specialist Constant Brunet regarding the progress being made on the water program the DBSA is developing. Johan, could you give an outline of the program, please? What we're trying to do in the water space is, is really create a, a, a national water program for the country. So we know all the challenges that, that not only municipalities are facing, but also the, you know, the, the sector departments, the de Department of Water and Sanitation, the Water Board. So the whole, um, I think the, the entire water value chain in the, in the country is, is, is facing challenges wherever they sit. But there's, there's a lot of, of, of challenges specifically in the municipal space, um, not only around funding, but also around capacity to implement and capacity to plan and prepare projects. So, so we face a, a big challenge in the country in terms of project preparation and having bankable projects. So what we want to do is, is to establish a national water program for the country, which, which is basically what we want to do two things. So, so it's, it's really coming up with a programmatic approach and a blended finance approach for water projects in the country. The deployment of um, capital um, to augment water supply to, to municipalities. You know, often we find ourselves in a situation where municipalities build um, big dams or, you know, they expand the capacity of, of uh, pipelines, you know, coming from the water board. Uh, to augment supply uh, where you can, you know, as a first priority, look at your water reuse and non-revenue water type of initiatives. Um, you know, that would save on um, big capital expenditure. You know, it forms part of the um, capital expenditure program or the refurbishment program, you know, an operation maintenance and budgeting or best practice operation and maintenance is a key component of the program. And, you know, that would form part of the ultimate funding for that, for that program. But we, we want to make sure that uh, best practice, operation and maintenance do form part of the, the project preparation process and, you know, the, the 15 or 20 year um, horizon of that project. And, you know, Johan mentioned that the situation that you also often find is you do the refurbishment process. You go through that. You spend a lot of money um, upgrading the treatment work, circulation network, and then two, three years down the line, you find yourself, you know, in the same position where you started off um, due to a lack of um, best practice operation maintenance and the budgeting around that.